Are you a triathlete who is scared of open water? Do you worry that you might panic and lose your focus when the gun goes and it's time to swim? Today, I'm going to share with you the secret to avoiding panic during your triathlon swims so that you can stay calm and focused in open water. Hi, I'm Phil Mosley, an experienced triathlete and coach. With over 25 years of competing in triathlons, I've learned how to stay calm and, and avoid panic while swimming in open water. It's essential for success, and I'm going to share my tips and tricks on how to do just that. So sit back, relax, and let me show you how today. I train thousands of triathletes each year, and breathing panic during the open water swim is something that many of them have experienced. I've had it myself before, and it's a horrible feeling. It feels like you're fighting to get your breath and hyperventilating. It forces you to stop swimming for several minutes just so you can recover your breath. Not only is it unpleasant, but it's potentially dangerous too, especially when you're in a race surrounded by hundreds of other triathletes. However, I eventually learned the secrets of avoiding swim panic, and in this video, I'm going to reveal them to you. Breathing panic during swimming is usually caused by a buildup of carbon dioxide in your body, which occurs when you don't fully exhale on every breath. It can easily happen in the excitement of an open water swim when you're taking in big mouthfuls of air quickly instead of breathing out properly. To avoid this happening to you, you just need to exhale fully on each breath. To practice this, start by swimming in a pool where you can see the stream of bubbles coming from your nose or your mouth while you breathe out. This is a really good visual reminder because you can easily see when you're not doing it. Another good trick that some coaches recommend is to say the words bubble bubble while your face is underwater because this actually makes sure you're breathing out properly as you speak before you then turn your head to inhale again. Give it a try in the pool and then once you're comfortable there, try it in open water. Another cause of breathing panic is cold water shock. And the best way to avoid this is to get accustomed to the temperature before the race starts. So if you have time, slowly enter the water and do a gentle warm-up swim, even if it's slow breaststroke, just so you know how the temperature feels. And if that's not an option, simply splash the cold water all over your face and down your suit. Doing these things will mean you don't get such a shock when the starting gun goes. It's important to practice open water swimming and training before you do it in a triathlon race situation. I do this every year, even though I've done dozens and dozens of triathlons, because open water swimming feels so different to pool swimming, and it feels different to me in my first open water swim of the year, no matter how many years I've done it for. And that's why I include open water swims in my triathlon training plans too, particularly as race day approaches. Breathing panic doesn't have to ruin your triathlon. By exhaling fully, warming up, and practicing open water swimming, you can stay calm and have a great race every time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more triathlon tips and secrets. Would you like a free triathlon training plan that includes open water swimming? Download my free PDF plans by clicking the link in the description and join over 100,000 athletes who've leveled up their training. Or if you're looking to take your performances to a higher level, try my coaching service, which is called Unlimited Athlete, and you can get a free 30 day trial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more valuable triathlon tips and strategies and good luck conquering your next race. And don't forget to share this video with your fellow triathletes.